This is Hyper Silver Virtual Chrome Effect Base Coat from Multimix. Before we start the video, as you can see here from this example, this has had the Hyper Silver applied and been clear coated and still gives ultra high reflective finishes. To start, apply Direct Gloss Multi Krill, black, white or neutral grey onto the surface that you are going to apply the Hyper Silver to. Begin by shaking the Hyper Silver up, making sure that all the pigment is mixed in with the solution correctly. A 0.7 to 1mm setup is advised to get the best results from applying this silver. A bigger setup is harder to spray the silver as the viscosity of this silver is similar to water. When the direct gloss has been applied, there's no need to scotch the surface because as long as if the silver has been applied within the 24 hour window of applying the direct gloss, the solvents within the silver will slightly eat into the gloss given the adhesion that's required. When applying the silver, ultra fine mist coats need to be applied at any one time. Do not over apply this silver as this will flood the surface and cause it to run or give you an uneven finish. Carrying out a test panel to get used to how to apply this is advised before doing the actual job. As you can see here, we're applying ultra fine mist coats and flashing off for around 15 minutes in between each coat. When each coat has been flashed off, use a plush microfiber to clean the panel down and remove any dusting or overspray that may have accumulated in areas while applying this silver. This is key to get the best finish possible. Again, allowing the panels to flash off longer is better. Longer the flash off time lets the solvents evaporate from the film and gives a better overall finish. As you can see here, using a plush microfiber helps remove any dusting and keeps the surface clean. Usually, to get the best results from this silver, around three to five coats of silver need to be applied. This is not a lot, however, because screwing the fluid needle all the way in only uses a very, very small amount of silver. So five coats is not using a lot of product. Apply as many coats as needed to get the finish that you require. If you're after a shadow chrome effect, then the less coats gives more of a shadow chrome finish. Again, a test panel will allow you to evaluate how many coats will get the finish that you require. For best results when using our Hyper Silver, Multi Krill, White, Black or our Neutral Grey should be used under the Hyper Silver. Try and keep this full process using Multimix products as we've tested all of this with Multimix products for adhesion right the way through to getting the best high reflective finish. As you can see from this demonstration here, we're using a grey neutral direct gloss first, but you can use a white or a black. Using a white undercoat will give a very bright, clean appearance. However, you do need to apply a lot of hyper silver as if this is going outside, it will become a little bit see-through and give you an uneven finish. So for outdoors, a neutral grey or black finish is best. For interiors such as shops and displays, a white finish is really nice as it gives a good clean bright finish. When you're happy with the desired effect that you've achieved, allow the silver to flash off for a few hours as the solvents within the silver will have slightly softened the direct gloss so we need to make sure that all the solvents within this coating have evaporated before going to the next step. This is very important to get the best results. A quick example to show what undercoats give different appearance wise. From the left to the right we have white, grey and black. 
This is just an example, just to show you the different types of effects that you can get using these different undercoats. And here is a final example of a clear coated finished product. All we've done here is applied two mist coats of MultiClear 2 HS clear coat, followed by one full coat, and this is the final results that we've got. This is without even using a water-based binder. A water-based binder can be used to also get good results if you are reducing the flash off times. Here we have a clear coated example on the left and a matte clear coated example on the right.